How did you um, figure that out? Hmm? How, how did you figure that out? How did I figure that out? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> this year socket for some reason or other, you know, I couldn't get any power. Power through it. It was either that or it w it didn't match up with the socket. One or the other was the problem. And this this one worked perfect. So I says, all right, if that works, I'm going to put it on here. And then so far, I'm having a little difficult time signing that wire for some reason. First of all, I'm doing the shaking this morning. So, um, where'd you get it from? There's a bunch I got from, from the church. Oh. And I'm trying to fix it, fix up for some little old lady that needs a computer. is no good. What's it do with the old computer? Junk it. She, you junk it or did she junk it? Mm, well, either way, I don't know. She has somebody to junk it, has a boy or, or somebody. I guess she junked it. And otherwise, she says, can I junk it? What? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Either she has a boy that would joke her, and if she don't, maybe she would want me to do it. I don't know. I oh. have no idea. Oh. You know, I don't know that. I don't know that until the situation appears. Until I get a call from some little old lady that says, can I fix her? computer. And when I get there and try to fix it, it's unfixable. And I says, okay, we'll fix you up. So I'll fix her up with a computer. <clears throat> and that's what I'm doing for God's work. God says, <clears throat> sends me these people and, and uh, that's how I'm living today. <laughs> yeah, but I don't really understand what you said. You don't understand what I said? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so, can you tell me again? Okay. Let me clean up here and then you can put your stuff out. Oh, no, you're fine. I think... I'm glad to see when you're doing something. You're glad to you're see glad that I you see that I'm doing something. Huh? Yeah, and I'm and I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm really interested. <laughs> so um. Okay. I'm finished with that. Now, you've heard my story since my wife died. 
and all that, haven't you? Oh. Uh, Didn't I? I told you that. Yeah, yeah. That after three, four weeks afterwards, I'm sitting in my chair saying, God, you got my me in good health. What are you going to do with me? And I'm waiting, waiting for God to tell me something. And I just sit there. And a thought comes into my mind. Yes, I have a pretty good attitude, but I probably could have more, more positive. I'm just thinking that way. And I'm thinking, well, that's what God's telling me. And I, and I said, okay, God, I think I can do that. I think I can have a better attitude or a more positive attitude. So I sit there, you know. Just kind of dozing off. And then it says, I think, why don't you make people happy? Why don't I make people happy? And I thought, how can I make people happy? Well, you came along. That's one. Then I remember. Some of these little old ladies, when I go in and fix their computers, um, of course, when the wife was alive, I was charging because I had a lot of medical bills. When she passed on, I wouldn't charge. She'd have a little purse, you know, and she'd say, how much is that? I says, I, I'm not charging. You're not charging? Oh, she gets all excited. So she goes out into the kitchen to get some rolls or something, you know, and says, here, you take this. So, to me, what I, I'm answering God, and what God's doing is feeding me so I don't have to buy groceries and things. He's feeding me for, because I haven't charged her anything, so I'm not getting any money there. But I don't need money because... She's given me something to eat. Yeah. That's the way I look at my life now. That's the way I look at how God provides for a person. He's providing. Everything I do, He's providing for them. Mm -hmm. That's my story. <laughs> See, you're part of my story. Yeah. He sent you t to me, and, and like I say, I was prepared for you because he prepared me. Yeah. To sit and listen to you without trying to disrupt you. Having you get a little confident, uh, confidence in me so that we could communicate so you could learn to communicate with other people. I don't know what else. I mean, that, to me, that's what appears God has done for you and for me. Because hmm. I, enjoy, I enjoy our conversation. I enjoy all, everything that we do. Oh, yeah. Um, well, all I can say is thank you very much. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. I, I, He's helping both of them. Yeah. 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 If I had him, I, if I. If I had meant to um, I don't know I it be would would be a hundred a thousand times worse. I just yeah. uh Yeah, you you went way back. I mean uh, I can see where yeah, and 
there really would be a lot, a lot, many times, yeah, and many, many times. So, every once in a while you learn something new, don't you? Every once in a while when you come here you you see something new. Yeah. Okay. That's my old iPod. You know, um 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 I um uh, look, can we wait? Sure. Okay. <laughs>